Hey, this is Ray Dombrowski. Today I want to show you an all new Photoshop template called the Ink Stamp Automator. This is the easiest and fastest way to apply a rubber stamp look, woodblock print, lino cut print, or just some good texture to your logos, typography, and illustrations. Let's go into this template and I'll show you how to use it and make a graphic like this. So when you open up this Photoshop PSD template, here's what you'll see. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up your layers panel. So just go window layers and I'll start from the bottom and show you what's in these layers. So the bottom layer is a background color. You can turn that off if you want just total transparency or you can turn it on. Just double click on this little icon and you can give it a color. So super easy. I'll just go back to white. The next layer group from the bottom is called choose an image texture. So if you just drop down this little arrow, you'll see a bunch of different layers in here. There's 42 different textures and you can mix and match these or just use one at a time. So here I've got two textures visible. If I turn them off, it just looks like that. And the way I have these set up is they go from very fine at the top. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, they get a lot chunkier. So the texture in these can go from pretty evenly spread to a lot more variability. These are some gradient textures. And here's some really chunky ones. And if you want to see more of these textures, just go to the link below the video and I'll have a lot more examples you can see. So let's hide this image texture layer and I'll quickly show you the layer group above. It's called outline. If you expand that, you'll see that there's an outline in there and it has a texture you can turn on and off. And it also has a stroke and a ripple smart filter. So if you want to adjust the stroke, just double click on that. You can change the size right now. It's set to 16, but to make it a little thicker, you can just add to that. Click okay. And the ripple filter, what that does is it distorts the edges of your art just to make it a little more stamp like. And if you'd like to turn that off, you can just click on the eyeball icon, but most likely you won't need to mess with these layers. So I'll just set that stroke weight back to 16 pixels and collapse the layer back. So to add in your own graphic, you'll want to double click on this smart object at the very top here. So I'll just double click on that. And that opens up a smart object. So what we want to do now is replace this logo with our own artwork. So let me go to another file and the best way to paste in art into the ink stamp automator is you want to have it black on a transparent background. So if you have a graphic like this, a flattened black and white image, it's really easy to extract that black off of the white background. The easiest way to do that is click on your channels and then on a Mac, you command click the RGB channel and you see how it makes a selection. Just select inverse, go back to your layers, make a new layer, hide the background layer and go edit fill. And you can fill that with black and then we'll make a new background layer. Go command a select all and then edit fill. And then you can fill that with white. So before we had a flattened image, and now we have our black layer on top and a white layer on bottom. So let's just go to that top black layer, select all and then copy. Now go back to your smart object and the top layer here is called hide this layer. You just want to click on the eyeball to hide that. And even though I've hidden the top layer, you still see this rectangular black shape. And what that is, is a bunch of different ink shapes. So I have some squares here. There's a rectangle, a few more squares and a couple of circles. And those are just to help you if you need kind of a logo shape. So let's go ahead and hide all those. And what I want to do here is click on this bottom layer and just paste in my art from that other file. Go command V. So just to give you an example of these outline shapes, you know what I'll do is I'll just select this Aloha here and I'll copy it, 
hide everything in that layer, make a new layer, and I'll paste that Aloha back in. Now, let's say we wanted to make a little Aloha logo. What we could do is make this rectangle stamp visible, and then we scale up our Aloha. The thing is with these graphics, you don't really need to worry too much about scaling up graphics and losing resolution. Because this is a distress template, it doesn't matter if your art is perfectly crisp and clean. So it's gonna chunk it up. So if you have kind of a low resolution file, it still will look good if you use this template. So let me just click save on this smart object. And then we go back to our original file and you can see how that makes a really nice, easy stamp. But that isn't what I was gonna show you. So I'll get rid of that Aloha, hide that shape, and make our Aloha circle with the waves visible. Now all we need to do is go save, and then go back to the Ink Stamp Automator, and you can see all the effects, the texture, the ripple have already been applied. You can download Ink Stamp Automator from my website, thevectorlab.com. And for an even better deal, I'm including Ink Stamp Automator as part of T-Shirt Design Master Collection, which is my biggest bundle of T-Shirt Design resources, including mock-up templates, textures, tutorials, and workshops. Just check out the links below the video for more information. Thanks for watching.